Hey Minchin, do you remember like you asked me to make a better flight feature to to turn off T commands when you don't need them? Yeah, exactly. When I'm preparing to race and warm my hands, if I move my stick hands and like sometimes it change my rate profile. Yeah, that's exactly pretty bad. Exactly, it changed to yeah. stuck rate. And so, do you know that in the current Beta Flight 4.3, there's there's a way to do that? Really? But, how? But you don't get to know that. No, how? You me. don't get to know. No, 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 no! Stick commands are awesome, but there are a couple of cases you don't want them to engage. For example, at the race you have your goggles down, ready to go live and waiting for the race manager to send you. You just want to sort of move the sticks to warm up your fingers, but you might accidentally switch your PID profile or rate profile. Or one of your friends decides to quickly check out your radio. He starts moving sticks and then you realize, oh, my tiny whip is plugged in. And now it's on RAID Profile 3 and PID Profile 2. Who are you going to blame? The solution in Beta Flight 4.3 is very simple and I'm even a little bit embarrassed to make this video. I should have mentioned that in one of my previous videos where I discuss some of the secret hidden Beta Flight features. But I didn't, so there we go. And in this case I don't even need to call to stick commands expert because I met him in person at Malta GP International Open and I still got all my stuff after the travel and pet here probably pissing off my wife all right guys so this is mr ashley from velocidron and he knows everything about stick commands yeah so stick commands is when you tell your radio stick 100 percent oh, so here's the solution for beta flight 4.3 on the mode stop scroll all the way down and you will see stick commands disable which you can use at link or at range. You can set up a separate switch that will activate this mode by default. But I like to reuse the same switch as flip over after crash, so that when I need to use tick commands I switch to turtle mode and then I can use all of these tick commands. But in the normal case scenario flip over after crash is disabled and tick commands are disabled too because this mode is activated. It means that no more accidental profile switching. No more. Some of you might be worried that you could actually forget to switch off turtle mode after you're done with some changes in OSD menu or with some stick commands and you might accidentally try to start a race in turtle mode. But I can tell you in the current 4.3 it is quite difficult to do for two reasons. The first one, in the latest beta flight starting from I think RC7, beta flight shows you a warning crash flip switch if you activate turtle mode even without arming. And the second one, even if you have all of your warnings off on OSD, when you try to arm in turtle mode it will tell you armed crash flip. So at this point it's pretty much impossible to miss the fact that you are arming in turtle mode. And if you never use tick commands, if you never open OSD menu and never use, I don't know, camera control, then you can just do something like that. This is it, that simple. And thanks to Mr. Eatracer who implemented this feature about two years ago for Beta Flight 4.3, you can see he says adds a stick command disable mode used to prevent inadvertent triggering of controls, calibrations or setting changes. Nice, that's what we needed. Well, and that's what Minchin needed. Damn, he's still looking for me. He's still looking for me. Look at that. He's still looking for me. Oh shit, you found me! Look at the ramp! See you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. And I'm pretty lazy.